The seven principles of Xeriscape are all very important to the success of your landscape. Planning your design is first and foremost. Get something down on paper. The next step is evaluating and improving your soil. Here in Colorado Springs, we have sand or clay. The answer to improving both of these soil types is to amend with organic material. The next step is creating practical turf. You want your turf to have a function within the landscape. So think about what the function in the landscape is. There's also grass types you can look at, um, the size that you need for your, for your landscape. Do you need an area where you can play volleyball or kids can run on? Or do you just want a small area that will blend your neighborhood together and have a little oasis look in the front yard? The next step is selecting plants carefully. Virtually any plant can be in your xeriscape as long as it is adapted to your soils and to our climate, and it is grouped with plants that have similar water needs. The next step is watering your landscape efficiently. It's probably one of the most important things you can do. Even if you don't change out your landscape, be sure that you are making sure the water hits the landscape and not the pavement, as water in the gutter doesn't do anyone any good. The most important thing to keep in mind when designing your Xeriscape is water efficiency. Make sure that you use a sprinkler that's close to the ground and is only watering the plants, not the pavement. Be sure that you water late in the day or early in the morning so that the water doesn't evaporate and blow as much. And you want a sprinkler that will deliver the droplets close to the ground. You should also reset the timers on your sprinklers monthly to adjust for the seasonal changes in weather and temperature. The next step is to use organic mulch. Organic mulch reduces the amount of evaporation from the soil and keeps the soil temperature more consistent year round. It also will help keep the weeds down and it adds organic material to the soil. Then last but not least is maintenance. All landscapes need to be maintained, uh, whether they're a xeriscape or a traditional landscape. Xeriscape is just a focus uh, instead of the mowing and weed trimming that we do on a weekly basis, it's a focus on pruning and weeding and thinning your plants, making sure that your irrigation system is well adjusted and maintained and ensuring that your landscape is in good health. Xeriscape is the way to ensure that your landscape will be sustainable for years to come, whether we're in drought years or in years that have plenty of water.